Welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Over the Moon. It has been a very long time, and I am deeply sorry, and this is not the first time this kind of thing's happened, but there were multiple things due to, once again, more illness, due to the big depresso espresso, and many things. Like, for instance, the last episode, when I found out that none of the stats were quite how I thought, and... It was a bummer. It added to the rest of it. I got very sick towards the end of last year, and to the point where, like, I full-on collapsed. I was, it was, like, on and off sickness over and over and over again throughout the entirety of the end of last year, and then January hit, and I, like, my mother and I, we were both down. I was down for something like 10 days, and we thought I had COVID, and it turns out it wasn't COVID. It was influenza type A, and it was a worse experience than for me than any time I've had COVID thus far. It was incredibly rough, and I, I was just, you know, trying to sleep it off as much as I could, and it kept not working, and I went out because I suddenly felt hungry, like the first time I'd been hungry in days, and I made it to the kitchen before I suddenly collapsed and hit my head. It was not a good time. But I'm back. No damage was done. I've just been, you know, trying to get back into this. I'm actually in a bit different of a setup than I was previously, but we'll get, get to that another time. For now, let's get to Rune Factory. Because finally, after all this time, we're going to start something new. I mentioned before that yesterday I forgot my birthday. Oops. But I had a lot on my mind. We're going to nab ourselves Kane real quick. How's it going, Kane? You're looking good today. Okay, let's go. And now... As I mentioned last time, we have all of the green tablets, all the blue tablets, all of the red tablets, and all of the ice tablets. Why it's green, blue, and ice? I, I don't know. But you notice we have a bunch of slots that are unused. I'm going to... Before we do what I was about to do, give me just a moment. So, I just had to clear up my inventory a little bit. Now, like I was saying, we have done so much. Let's do a little bit more. Let's go to the very bottom of the barn. I don't know if I've shown this yet. But, once you need access to the bottom of the barn, once you need access to under the town, you can build this final floor. I don't know if I've shown this yet but I'm pretty sure I haven't entered. Okay, here I go! Here we go. Welcome to Palermo Shrine, the final dungeon of the game. These enemies are going to be tougher than any we have seen thus far, with a lot of annoying effects. But it should be something we can handle. We are very strong for this point. You should be beating the game at our battle level, so... And here's a switch. The switch is already on. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be important later. A little dragon and the monster box? I think this is the monster box. I don't think it's the gobble box. I think the gobble box is the bluish one. The switch is already on. Maybe they w maybe I was here already. I feel like not all these switches should be on, right? Hmm. I feel foolish. Yeah, the store shouldn't be open already, right? Okay, I feel like I was already here then. But I don't remember there being a... Oh, I level up. I don't remember there being a text box whenever you enter. 
But I also have multiple Platinums, so that means I probably was here. Okay, let's see. Those are both level 1. Yeah, sure, I'll keep them. Okay, yeah, there is an area of my map I haven't seen yet, so yes, I had been there. <laughs> I... Now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Okay, turn the desolate field into a thriving farmland with yams and carrots. In other words, I should plant yam and carrot crops. Okay. So it will take some time to take care of this stuff. But we can do it. So it's yams, carrots, cabbage, twerb. I'm gonna need some anti-poison. I don't think I need lumber for anything, but you might as well, right? Cucumbers and eggplants. Oh, I failed to protect Kane, so I guess that's on me. And finally, turnips and white cabbage. Okay, let's go buy all those and let's plant them. For the next few days in game, this is what we'll be doing. We'll be growing all of these. Okay, how many can I remember off the top of my head? Welcome, friend. Toy herb and cabbage. Just gonna have to sell a bunch of these items and get them again later. I'm sure I need some of these for things, but I don't remember what those things are currently. And as such, I'll have to get them later. You know, I should have known I'd been in there because I have a rage thing. I'm pretty sure that's only from the monsters in there. Okay, cucumber. I'm actually gonna have to check my notes on this. It might be eggplant. I think it's eggplant. It is eggplants. Carrots and yams, I think. I'll double check. And finally, white cabbage and turnips. I surprisingly remember those fairly well. Alright. Alright, time to go get some medicine. I'm gonna buy a stack and then throw away whatever I don't need. Before I go down there, let's be smart about this. Now let's go. Yep, sure enough, she says it every time. I'm dumb. Okay, I believe this is the summer, which means this is pirates, which is where King got wiped last time. There we go. That one guy. It's occurred to me I probably should have bought a bunch of the uh, formulas, but I didn't really have room anyway, so I guess I'll have to do that later. I need an entire stack per one of these anyway, so I guess I'll just be replacing whatever I use in toy wise. Okay, um, these are the cucumber, and I'm gonna make sure. This really should be the point that I go in and I upgrade Kane, but I say upgrade, I, I'm pretty much saying I should get a little dragon. It probably would be the best thing for dealing with this every day. Maybe I'll do that. Toy herbs and cabbage. And I'm pretty sure, but it's raining even though it's inside. Yeah, those are already watered. All right, I'm actually done here. Hey, uh, I'm actually popping back in between cuts just to say that I was going on the wiki just to look up how long everything takes to grow because I don't remember everything off the top of my head. They don't even have toy herb listed under crops. They have 
all the other things. They have like pink, you know, pink turnips. They have moon drops, you know, strawberries. If you go down to summer, they have pumpkin, eggplant, tomato, cucumber. You go down to fall, they have potatoes, carrots, charm blues, yams, winter, you know, all those. I'm obviously skipping some, but I'm just giving a bunch of examples. They don't have toy herb. Why? Why? I don't want to fix this, but I feel like I have to now that I've realized it's wrong. I've already went through all the Inquisitive Walt stuff and fixed so much of it. Why am I doing this to myself? Here I am. Maybe later. Maybe. <sighs> okay. I have filled up my inventory of these. I have eight stacks of them. I'll actually sell my neutral agent since I do not need these anymore. I, uh... They cost 18000 per stack. I just caught... I just cost myself, what? 144000 to cut off a single day of growing? This is not the profitable way to do this. I probably won't keep doing this, but I want to do it at least once. Just to say I used a bunch of my formulas. It has also occurred to me that I haven't actually gone to school. So I missed morning classes already. Let's hit up school. I don't remember if there's more to learn right now. Time to start class. Yeah, this seems like stuff I haven't learned yet. Um... Powerful medicine. Eh, let's go down the list. Final spears. Today we'll look at the two strongest spears. We'll start with the overbreak. First, we'll need a corset. Corsesca? Yeah, that's the name. Harden the pole with the spear of an insect jaw. Strengthen the blade of the spear with the bull horn. You will soon need a proof of warrior. Melt it first. Next, wrap the spear's shaft. Finally, you'll need a hood. Tying one of these onto the top of the pole is said to bring out mysterious power. Any questions? And finally, the last spear, the Gungnir. First, prepare an oval break like I taught you. You're basically just going to use that blade as it is, but to strengthen the spear shaft, you need to use a devil horn. And also, a rage fan. To combine those two parts, add a, de add a devil quad. After that, you'll need a good, sturdy, broken box. A good, sturdy, broken box. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Finally, wrap a silk cloth around the grip. All right. One more. To start class. The hammer basics. I feel like I did this and messed this up somehow. Alright, time to learn about battle hammers. Let's start with the great hammer. First, you'll need a war hammer. Mix that with iron. Next, use a plant stamp on the handle. You also want an insect skin to keep the hammer from slipping out of your hand. Clasp the handle in together with an arrowhead. Wrap the handle with a cheap cloth to finish it off. Next, we have the Schnabel. First, you need to have a war hammer. Strengthen the entire hammer with silver. You'll need a giant's fingernail for the handle. It'll also require proof of war. Need to use a scorpion pincher for the hand hammers. Do that for the hammer's tip. Use a giant's glove for the grip. Any questions? The ice hammer or next hammer has a water attribute. First, you'll need a battle hammer. The entire hammer head is made from a yeah. The entire hammer head is made from a water crystal. To harden it, you can use fairy dust. Next, strike the handle with a giant's fingernail. 
you'll be using a shoulder piece for the bindings. Finally, use Giant's Gloves on the grip. Any questions? Alright, we'll see the next time if we got all that right, or if it's bugged. Let's get some lunch. Baked rice ball, hell yeah. Hey there! Steam Kiosa tastes wonderful, doesn't it? I really wish I could eat one right now. I like ice cream for dessert. Hi, Arya. Hello. I've always wanted to protect you, Arya. Hi, Arya. Hi, Arya. I want us to be good friends, Arya. I got so sleepy on Fridays in spring. Aren't we always that way, Serena? Mood. Okay, here I go. I don't know which is which. So I guess I'm doing both. Unfortunate, I didn't remember. Because cabbage has 11 days to grow, and toy herb has less than 11. I don't know how much less. Oh well. Once I'm sure which one of these is the yam, I won't do this again, obviously. Okay, so this will be very evident which one is which tomorrow. So, white cabbage and regular cabbage are the two that I will absolutely have to keep doing this for. The rest of them will grow in no time. Alright. Eggplant and cucumber. Nine tenths. Yeah, these both need it. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright. You all saw how that happened. Don't make the mistake I made. I can get back to the barn from here. How? I don't know! I guess that wants you to do it is just to teleport out. Now it is. Maybe it was to the left over here? It was. Okay. Hey, keep that guy busy. Oh no, it's not petting in this game, it's pet glove. It's not brushing, rather. There we go. Um, let's name it Dragmire. Okay, so probably basement floor two? Yes. How's it going, Dragmire? You're looking good today. Not that that means anything. Okay. Probably should have checked it when it was still a zero. But now Dragmire is a two. I don't know how little dragons scale compared to gold wolves. It's currently three D five. I don't really remember what Kane was at. I'll check that later. Downside is I can't actually ride Dragmire for some reason. No. Nice. Alright, first sleeping bag. Because it's a rainy night, I can't check to see if there's a storm the next day, and I don't trust anything. We're on to the next day already. So I can't brush you out here, right? No. Fuck. Ah. It's on me. It's evident which one of those is the turnip. <laughs> 
There's a festival today. I should keep my monsters inside. Wild. Good morning. Morning, Arya. It's the eating contest today. This is quite this is quite something to see each year. Please enjoy yourself too. All right. We experienced this once before as a different person. Good morning. Morning, Arya. So today's the eating contest. Are you going to enter, Arya? Good morning, Arya. Today's the eating contest. If you can beat Arya, make sure not to overdo it. Good morning, Arya. The eating contest. Why don't you give it a try, Arya? Morning. Morning. Today's the eating contest. What a strange competition. Uh oh, there you are. Good morning, Arya. It's the festival today. Enjoy yourself, Arya. Morning. Morning, Arya. There's a festival today. Have a good time, Arya. Good morning, Arya. Good morning. Morning, Arya. We're gonna enter the contest today, too. What about you, Arya? Good luck, Arya. I won't be holding back. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Today's the eating contest. You gonna take part in it, Arya? Good morning, Arya. Today's the eating contest. You can enter. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Today's the eating contest. Are you going to participate? Good morning. Good morning. It might be a festival, but if I can't use my sword in some way, then I'm not all that bothered, to be honest. Morning. Morning, Arya. Hmm, so today's the eating contest. Arya, you need to win this one for your mother. Morning, Arya. You, today's the eating contest. I'd like to enter it myself. Mom tells me I only end up with a sore stomach. Morning. Good morning, Arya. There's a festival today, Arya. I hope it's exciting. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Arya. Today's the eating contest. Are you a fast eater, Arya? I uh, guess you could say that. Now they should be in here. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. An eating contest, Arya. Do you want to enter? Morning. Morning, Aria. Today's the eating contest. You gonna enter, Aria? Sure, yeah. Sure, Grandpa. Good morning, Good morning Aria. Today's the festival. Go out and have fun. You look well this morning, little human. The eating contest is today. What a joke. Sounds exactly like the kind of competition a human would think up. Morning. Morning, Aria. There's a festival today. I don't like it. everyone getting all worked up about it. Not very many people pass through here. It's nice and quiet. Good morning! Good morning, Arya. Today's the eating contest. If you're gonna enter, I'll cheer you on. One thing I don't quite like is how when people get married, they're just delegated to their houses. Like, Dorothy doesn't hang out with Bear anymore. Julia doesn't hang out with Max. Any of that. Like, what happened to it all? Where did the passion go? Alright. Oh, Arya, how about try your hand or mouth rather in the eating contest? It's a chance to show off your gastronomical skills. And if you win that special someone's opinion, if you will no doubt go up. What's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize! So how about it? I'm in. Now that's what I'm talking about, Arya. Okay, now for the rules. When I say start, press the A button rapidly and as fast as you can until I say stop. Each time you press the A button, you'll take a bite. The more bites you take, the more you eat. So the person with the most bites takes the prize. Good luck! Do you need to hear the rules again? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, let's get this year's eating contest underway! Everyone, start your gastronomical engines! On your marks, get set, start! Stop! Let's see, Arya, you took 33 bites! What a shame, Arya! Grand prize goes to Serena and Sarah. Congratulations, you two. Honorable mention goes to Ray. The participant prize goes to Aria. 
Hmm, I don't care about corn, though. And as such, ow, poor usual. Time manipulation. Stop! Let's see how you took 31 bites. Hmm. 34 this time. Still not enough. 42 bites. Okay, so 42 is the maximum you can do. That was literally me using turbo. And turbo is faster than a human can do. So, I think 34 is as good as I could have done. I Maybe 35, but 35 would have been really stretching with the controller I was using. So how am I supposed to be able to do this? <laughs> um... Amazing! You out ate my wildest expectations! What an unprecedented accomplishment! The crown of the victors! Victory is bestowed upon Arya! Congratulations, Arya! I hereby confer upon you the title of Master of Speed Eating! Your accomplishment will be rewarded with a four leaf clover! Oh, yeah. Alright, so that's what you get for winning. Neat. Let's chat with people. Good morning, Arya. That was great, Arya. Congratulations. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. I can't believe you won. Morning. Ah, uh, morning. Oh, I never expected you to pick up. I never would have picked you for being so good at this. Yeah. Morning. Morning, Arya. You did good. Great job, Arya. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Well, it looks like you were pretty. You really gave it all you had. Congratulations, Arya. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. You really did well. Congratulations, Arya. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Congratulations on your victory. I was amazed by just how much you ate, Arya, and how fast. Just how did you make your jaws so strong? Good morning. Good morning. Nice work, Arya. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Wow, Arya, I didn't realize you had it in you. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Wow, you did great. I didn't know you had it in you. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Not bad for a kid. You look well this morning, you little human. That was a waste of time. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Nice job. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Congratulations, a most impressive performance. The tournament was a big success again this year. All thanks to you, you have my gratitude. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Oh, Arya, you really surprised me. Don't know what's happening with her voice, but it's changing every time. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Wow, Arya, I was surprised by how fast you eat. I was too, considering I cheated. Good morning, Arya! That was incredible, Arya! How in the world can you eat so fast? By cheating. Power of manipulating probability or whatever. Alright, oh, I haven't spoken with any of them. Good morning, Arya! Good morning, morning Arya! You were great, Arya! Sorry you lost. That was amazing, Arya! Too bad you didn't win. They're in denial, it's fine. It's not a glitch, it, they're just in denial. Good morning, Arya! Wow, Arya, I can't believe you won the eating contest. The title of Master of Speed Eating goes to Arya. Congratulations! I think about it. Are Sarah and Serena cheating by saying, Oh, we're practically the same person, so we'll t tag team this and eating together? Hello there. Hello there, Arya! You did it! I didn't think you had it in you! Hey there, Arya. You won, Arya. That's great. Good afternoon. Well, you won the championship. Yes, championship. That's how I would describe this. Wonder if that actually pushed me over the edge with anyone. Yes, actually, multiple people. So Julia, Natalie, Alicia, Ray, Cecilia, and Herman are all still at zero. All of them for one, them for two, them for three, four, five, and six. Heck yeah. So Dragmire is now at five. I didn't really mean to 
pet Shen, but I did, so I have to deal with that now. Alright, I really don't have anything else to do today. So I'm going to save and go to bed. Double checking that there's no issues thus far. I'm just incredibly nervous because I haven't recorded in such a long time. It says everything's recording. Zero issues. Alright, now let's hope there's no you know, storm. Normally it's only during the summer or winter, but I have been traumatized. Okay. Okay. So Kane only has 250 health. So even at level 2 or whatever, Dragmire had like one and a half times his health. And now that Dragmire is at 5, Dragmire now has 420! Heck yeah! I'm glad I didn't pet you. <laughs> Blaze! Alright, I can't leave you there, sadly. Send it back to the barn. 455 now. Nice. Honestly, I could go in and up my defenses. Especially my magic defense, only being at 16. If I probably should do that soon. I would just have to figure out what I would want to swap around. What I can make. I also need to figure out what I have and have not made yet. I did not mean to come down here. Have it. Yeah, already doing a lot more damage. Almost double the damage. Uh, let's do water laser. Bye! You guys don't take a lot from water laser. How about stone spike? Same. My magic tech sucks. See, I really need up my magics. Don't need a skull. Thanks, anyway. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, tomorrow is Byron's birthday, apparently. Tell me my fortune. What's the weather for tomorrow? Sim, salabim. Sim, 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 salabim. Okay, let's make it rainy tomorrow. I don't mind playing with my destiny. Two thousand, yeah, that's fine. All right, lesson time. All right, let's begin the class. Cooking for beginners. Today I'll teach you a recipe that's quick and easy. Salad. To begin, cut up some cabbage and put it on a plate. Then mix in some green grass. I. That sounds awful. Next, sprinkle some diced daikon radish on top. That still doesn't sound great. Then dice up some cucumber over the daikon radish. That's fine, but like, you you have grass in there. <laughs> Add some sliced tomato to improve the presentation. But will not fa affect the fact that you're eating grass. <laughs> Where was tomato? There it was. <laughs> Finally cut a boiled egg in half and put it on top. There, it's done. You're, you're eating something with grass in it. <laughs> Next, let's make a sandwich. First, get some bread ready. I know that there's edible grasses. Trust me, I'm very much aware. I grew up out in the sticks. It's whatever. But, like, it still doesn't sound great. <laughs> Alright, so, bread, bread, bread. There we go. Burn my bread. Cucumber. Then add some thinly sliced tomato. Meat. While you're at it, add a slice sliced boiled egg. Finally, add a pink cat for flavor, and it's ready. Oh, up there. Got it. Next is a fruit sandwich. The steps are the same, but not the ingredients. First, prepare some bread. Then, add some white grass. 
let it go. Just let it go. Then add some thinly sliced apple. Peel the skin first. Next, add some orange slices. Finally, add a sliced strawberry, and it's finished. Pickle turnip is next. This one is simple. Thinly slice the turnip, then pickle it. Did you understand? Finally, we have some pickles. This one is simple too. Just thinly slice a cucumber and pickle it. You're not going to explain the pickling process to us. All right. Take a lesson. Begin the class. And we f somehow messed it up. Um, how did we fail? These recipes are times when you don't want to eat a full meal. Let's start with croquettes. First, steam some potatoes, then mash them. Uh, potato. Next, add a small egg. Give me an egg. Then fry everything in oil, and we're finished. Next is miso eggplant. As the name suggests, there's one ingredient. An eggplant. Yes. Just that. You didn't give any instruction there. You said, there's an eggplant. Next is boiled pumpkin. Just steam a pumpkin in a pot. Make sure it's soft and tender. That's that's an actual thing. Just a miso and eggplant. What the heck does that mean? Next is boiled spinach. All you need is spinach. Boil it too much and it'll become soft though. Now that's just glazed yam. Start with a yam. Then next add some sweet powder and you're finished. I have no idea if that one was fine, but, like, we'll see. I should probably be doing my daily gifts. Where's my mom? I know where she is, but you know what I mean. Mom, I have a gift for you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, more. It's how my dad wooed you, by giving you the easiest to grow thing in the world. Morning, Arya. Don't even think about going and try to seal the Dragon God. You got that? Well, regardless, you don't have any way to get beneath the city anyway. Is there any way to get beneath the city? Like, my barn? Which I just kept on building until people were like, that's stupid, stop building, and I'm like, do it again! More! More! I have this toy herb, so take Thanks. it. Ah, oh, these smell good. Are they for me? Thank you, Arya. Thanks. It's a nice gift. Thank you. I might be able to use it for my next lesson. Thank you. Good morning, Arya. Make sure you have a good breakfast. Although I guess I don't need to tell you that, do I, Arya? Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Things like pancakes and chocolate cake are so sweet and yummy. I like them a lot. Cherry blossoms are so pretty, aren't they? Alright, time to get our lunch for the day. your lunch. Yay, what did we get today? Today you're having ultimate curry. Yes! See you tomorrow. Yeah, just give a child ultimate curry. Hello? Sure. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. I like dishes using fish. They're fried mackerel and thyme and sashimi. Nice. I'll right, take a lesson. Hammers, axes, and sickles. Today, I'll be teaching you to make some farm tools. Let's start by making an iron hammer. You'll be needing an old hammer, then a bronze. After that, you'll need one more bronze, plus a little iron. What do you think? Got it? Next, we'll be making a chopping axe. Use it to collect wood. Start with the base of a rusty axe. Then a bronze. Then add an iron to reinforce the blade. Then one more iron and you're done. Let's end with an iron sickle. You can use it to cut grass. First, you need a rusty sickle to reforge. You'll be needing an iron. Then add another iron to really give it an edge. Finally, add an iron and you're done. Time to start collecting. Okay, did that work? No, it didn't. Okay, so we just can't do that, I guess. 
Spears basics. We'll be beginning at the spears today. First, you will need a needle spear. Prepare a spear ahead of time. Uh, there. This spear is famous for its long head. Oh. This spear is famous for its long head. Use iron to make it. You should use bronze for the joints and handle. Do the same thing with a plant stem. You're gonna have to boil a spoiler and then let it harden. You'll use this final product to hold everything together. Finish wrapping it uh, with a strong string to make it a grip. All the way up there, got it. Alright, let's keep going. Next is the halberd. You're making this one by modifying a spear. Make the head using silver. Because the shaft is so long, use a scorpion tail to reinforce it. Next, join the head with the shaft using a hard horn. Use an arrow head for this too. Finally, wrap it uh, with an insect skin so you can grip it. Okay. Now you're gonna learn how to make a corset. Corsesca, that thing that I taught you how to use it, something else, whatever. You can use a uh, halberd, which should be easy. Then use an iron to make a new head. The head is divided into three parts. Use a hard horn to reinforce it. Alright, then you'll be needing a panther claw. Have a cheap cloth ready so you can make a grip. Then stabilize the whole thing with a sparkle string to finish. Alright, I have no idea if I got that one to work. Hopefully it does. And that is today. I think I still have time. I think I've been cutting around a good bit, so I'm gonna do another day in game. That mainly so I don't forget a certain person's birthday. Yeah, it's crazy. What? Good night. Whoa, it's raining! Who would have seen that one coming? Anyway... Okay. Are you in here because it's raining? You are not in here because it's raining. Where is Yue when it's raining? Is she just out and about? Is she at one of the entrances? Yeah, she's here. Alright. I want to go shopping. Seafood Doria. Alright. Also, like... I have bought everything here, right? Yeah, okay. I figured. Assuming I didn't somehow mess this up, here's some Seafood Doria. Thank you! Well, this is a coincidence! It's actually my birthday today! This is a great present! Thank you! Yes, I can't. <laughs> Just take Polarimo Shrine and turn it into a barn upgrade. All right, let's begin the class. Bread and rice. I feel like I've done this kind of thing before. I'm gonna start from the bottom. A world of tools. Today's lesson handles versatile recipes. First up is the grape liqueur. First, put some wine in a pot. Next, add some crushed grapes. Next, add a finely broken up charm blue. Finally, add some purple grass. Heat slow on a low heat and it's finished. Next is a boiled gyoza. Start by making the dough using some flour. Next, finally cut up some cabbage. Finally, chop up some spinach and wrap everything up in the dough, and you're finished. Spinch. Next comes, uh, of course, marmalade. There's only one ingredient, an orange. Put it in the mixer. Oh, isn't that just orange juice? <laughs> Next, the last step is some mixed olay. This is a really simple recipe. It's super easy. First, make a fruit olay. Next, make a vegetable way, then mix both of them together, and you're finished. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's 
begin the class. Nice. All right, uh, let's do difficult cooking. Next, today we'll go over high-class recipes that need rare ingredients. First is fried blowfish. The first ingredient is, as expected, a blowfish. Next, make sure to add an antidote herb. Fry both of them together and you're finished. Next is ultimate curry. That's a pretty wild name, isn't it? Start by pouring some wine into a pot. Next, add an insect skin. It's kind of creepy to put that in a recipe, huh? Add some devil blood now. Wow, this is starting to look like a witch's brew. Finally, add some curry powder. Then, mix everything together. It may need a little more flavor, so sprinkle out some heavy spice. As a reminder, this is what we got for freaking lunch yesterday? It has devil's blood in it. Next is royal curry. This recipe isn't quite as scary. To make it, start by dissolving magical powder in water. Turn on the heat and add some curry powder, and let it boil for a while. Yeah. Next, add a sliced up apple. Finally, finish off with some honey to complete it. It may need a little more flavor, so sprinkle on some heavy spice. Next up is relaxed tea. This will really calm you down. To start with, you'll need to make some relaxed tea leaves. Next, add a pink melon for a lovely smooth taste. Finally, add some honey for flavor, and it's finished. Alright. Next is relaxed tea leaves. First, take the leaves of the medicinal herb and dry them. Next, use dried leaves from some green grass. Then, finally tear up some purple grass. Next, finally tear up some blue grass. After that, tear up some white grass into larger pieces. Finally, add a little yellow grass and you're finished. Do you understand my instructions? If you don't understand, please ask me again. Okay. Amethyst for you. Thanks. Toy herb for you. Thank you. Proof of warrior for you. Acknowledgement of the existence. Morning. Morning. When you were born, it was actually me who showed your mother how to take care of a baby. You sure did have a loud cry. It'd take us forever to get you to zip it. I've never heard that dialogue. That's so cute. I can see that too. Tanya is very single-minded about weapons and whatnot, but, like, she was a single mother. I can see that. That's... that's precious. Fabulous. I'm so happy. I love it. Thank you. Morning. You have to go hang out with your mom today, Aria? I believe this is yours, right? That's my favorite. Thank you. I don't have time for games now. Morning. Morning. You like to exercise, Arya? I bet you prefer reading, don't you, Arya? Every day's such a blast. So fun. Morning. Morning. Do you like coming to school, Arya? I do. I mean, it's great to uh, fun to see everyone else. Of course, I don't understand the lessons. I can't stand any more lessons. I want to play outside. The cherry blossoms here are so pretty. Three, two, one. All right. Today you're having curry udon. Yes. See you tomorrow. All right. Lesson time. Time to start. Okay. Once again, I don't trust anything. I'm gonna head down to pr making proof badges. I need these recipes anyway. For today's lesson, we're making badges. We'll start with the proof of heroism. You need to start with a proof of warrior. Next is a sapphire. You also need a rage fang. And after that, a devil horn. It 
should look something like a badge. Use a little crystal to make an icon of a sword in the center. Uh, right there. Finally, put a silk cloth on the reverse side. Any questions? Next, I'll teach you how to make proof of wisdom. First, you'll need a magic crystal. Next is a ruby. Uh, yes. Make the icon of a book using a bird wing. You also need to use a devil blood. And don't forget to use a broken box. Finally, put a silk cloth on the reverse side. And that's it. Let's see if it works. To start class. It did. Alright, I went to one hand weapons. Alright, let's go. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a wind sword. The first thing you'll need is a steel sword. Then some refined iron. Next you'll need a wind crystal. Then a scorpion pincher. And an insect skin to make the handle. Then wrap it in some quality cloth and you'll be done. Next, you're going to have to learn how to make an aqua sword. To make the sword, first you'll have to make a steel sword. Then some iron. You also want a water crystal when you temper the blade. Now for the handle. Start with a root. You'll need a strong string to wrap it up tight. Use a tortoise shell to make the guard in your set. Next, I'll tell you how to make an aerial blade. First, you'll need the wind sword from before. Use silver to make a blade sharp enough to cut wind. Use a wind crystal when you temper it. Wrap a quality cloth around the handle. Use a sparkle string to make sure it won't start coming apart. Then use a speckled skin to make the guard. Think. Next for a burning blade, a sword and boot with the power of fire. First you'll need a steel sword to work with. Reforge the blade using some iron. You'll need a fire crystal for that. Use an arrowhead to give the sword some firepower. You should use a spore for this too. Then use a giant's fingernail to make the guard. After another day's gift givings, Julia, Natalie, Alicia, Ray, and Herman are all at zero. These are all the level ones, followed by the level twos, threes, fours, and our two sixes. Byron's only at two, and that's rude. We gave him his favorite gift on his birthday. Dragmire's at 475 in Max Hearts. That is not bad, not bad. Once again, I did that. I always do that. It's up here. Okay, I'm using you as the basis for this. Sitting at about 59. You're only taking one damage. Yeah, seven. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're doing fine. Alright. I have my new beefy boy. Okay, how's everything growing? It's doing fine here. Taking one damage from these as well. The real one is... Are you going to take one damage from the enemies in Blessy as well? Because if so, I have nothing to worry about anymore. Yeah, okay. Oh, can I not use them anymore? Now that they're not seeds? Okay. That's news to me. That sucks. Whatever. Let's go to bed. Mm. 
never even let it do anything. That is how we do it. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Alright, just to confirm, I can't use these? Nope. That's so stupid. Does it say in the description? Nope, <laughs> it doesn't. Good to know. Well, you can cut off a few days by doing that. Go away. Curiosity, what level is this? Level 7. That's decent. I don't care, though. Let's get out of here. Mom, get back here! Mom? Mom? Mom! <laughs> it's always funny when they just do that. Dang it, missed. I fired, I missed. Yay! I love this! Wow. Morning! What's your favorite thing to eat, Arya? Me? I like rainbow sashimi. Although I guess I like marmalade a little too. Bitter things really make you feel like a grown up, don't they? Marmalade is bitter? What? Since when? Morning. Or maybe she's saying it's because it's sweet? She's saying that she doesn't like bitter things? How kind of marmalade is bitter? Am I stupid? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do sashimi three and four. Okay, time in. Corella. Where? There it is. Yellowtail. Turns out, by the way, I love yellowtail sashimi. I had yellowtail for the first time this last year. Yellowtail is fantastic. I would definitely recommend. Turbo. False sashimi. Just need a full flounder. Alright, let's begin the class. Today I'll show you how to make high quality sashimi. First we'll start with snapper. Next is glitter snapper. Then Lover Snapper and Flounder. Uh, there it is. Last is Blowfish. Hopefully, that worked with no issues. You're giving this to me? Thanks, I'll take it! Okay, yeah, that was incredibly neutral. Sell these for 4500 each. Get a quarter of my money back, that's painful. Alright, let's make it rain. Make it rain, make it rain, make it rain on my home. Make it rain, make it rain, make it rain on my home. And give over a diamond. Fabulous. Aquamarine for you. You can't have my Aquamarine. Is that free me? Thanks. Morning. This village has a lot more children than they used to. I think it's great. That's my favorite. Thank you. Morning. Are you having a good time at school, are ya? Max is a money man, so here right. comes the platinum. This must be platinum. Is it for me? You knew just what it, to get me. I'm so glad you got this for me. Hello. 
These days I've been helping collect materials for workshop class. My dad's real tough though. I'm so worn out. School isn't for playing, but Roy plays all day anyway. Alright, lesson time. Time to start class. Alright, uh, let's go with protective rings. Today we're gonna learn about rings. Let's start with a critical ring. First, you're gonna need silver. Let's start decorating it with a panther claw. Next, you also need to use a scorpion pincher. Next is an insect jaw. And you even need to put in a bullhorn. Finally, add another silver and you'll be done. A silent ring can protect you from being sealed. You'll need to use bronze for the ring itself. Next, mix in some iron. Ornament it with a giant's fingernail. To protect against sealing, you need a spore. As well as an insect skin. Finally, cover the ring with a round off. A paralyzed ring will protect you from paralysis. You'll need to use iron for the ring itself. Next, mix in just a little bit of bronze. Ornament with a root. You also need a scorpion tail. Mixed with a plant stem to make it a green color. Cover the inside of the ring with paragon. A poison ring will boost your poison resistance. You will need to use bronze for the ring itself. Don't forget to add iron. Next will be a panther claw. Then use a poison powder around the ring. Then use a poison powder around the ring. Spore raises the effects of poison, remember? Finally, you will also need to use an antidote potion. The last ring for today is the magic ring. Listen up, first you need magic crystal. You'll need another magic crystal to make the ring. Decorate the ring using a scorpion tail. You also need an arrowhead, so have one ready. You should make the, the inside of the ring from insect skin. Finally, make a line around the ring with a strong string. Okay, did that point. work? Seems so. Alright, water pots, hose, and poles. Let's see if it works. Today, let's start by making a tin water pot. It'll make farming a breeze. I'm gonna tell you everything you need. First, an old water pot. After that, it's a cinch. Use bronze. Then, another bronze. Finally, some bronze for the uh, gilding, and you're done. Next is a sturdy hoe. It'll make, it'll make plowing a little easier. First, get a rusty hoe ready. Then, you'll need some bronze, but don't overdo it. You're gonna sharpen the tip a little, so use a little iron. Then, add iron, and you're done. Let's learn about making a beginner's pole next. The first thing you'll need is an old pole. Next, you'll need wood. Wood is actually the most basic component of a beginner's pole. Use a bronze to make the joint. Then another bronze to make sure it won't bend. We'll see you next time if that works. And that is everything for today. I don't have a lot to do. <laughs> it's just making sure everything's watered every day, that there's no storm that rolls in. Uh, over the next two days, I need to harvest stuff, but like, I'm not going to harvest most of this. I'm going to harvest, obviously, my cabbages and my toy herbs and some of these, but not that many. I don't need that many for gifts or anything. So, I'll harvest a couple stacks of these and steal them away. But, yeah, I'm... I'm doing well. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. That is a good feeling to be able to say again. We will... 
there is a chance that we will finish growing those crops next time. I'm not going to promise anything. Just know that, you know, anything can happen. We'll see. It depends on how I'm feeling. We'll definitely be getting through the rest of spring next time. So we'll be going through the first day of summer, and maybe Lionel's birthday. It really depends on how much time everything takes and how much I want to sit down and play. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!